This is where the man slept. is the sand, the yeah. fossil tent. It is all that. Yeah. So it's not actually coral. No, it's I mean, limestone. limestone. Right, and that's that's the baseline to zero, so you can tell. Try to spike something. So it still has some energy. So what is this doing now, EMF? It's just an EMF detector. It just shows all electromagnetic fields. You have one on your smartphone. Mm-hmm. It's not as good the ones you buy at, you know, electronic stores, but it still detects something. So can we really get it spinning and see what it reads? Read zero? It's just at the top. What do you think about the anti-gravity claims? Nah, he, but he started doing this after proper done. Yeah. Kind of makes no sense. Yeah. And if it was a rotation, it would have took him less than 20 years. Oh, you mean he did all this nonsense with the electricity after the park? After the park was done. Wow. We actually met quite a few people who knew him, who are still, still alive today. And they keep giving the same stories and on and over and over. So no, he used to play with it after the park was done. Oh, really? What about that little black box that everybody's talking about? It's actually called a gear breaker. What oh, is that? really? Yeah, it's basically um, for okay. pulley systems. When That's you have it in midair, I you pull the brake and it breaks in the midair so it doesn't fall back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, so what's that, this thing? No, the black box, the black box in the center. Oh, picture. yeah, yeah. It's a gear breaker. And what are these? These are condensers of yeah, some sort? Yeah, um, um, a variable capacitive from um, the shortwave radios. Wow. I was already operating in the military, so I recognize <coughs> the parts. Very cool. Basically, broken radio components you mostly see here. The bottles can be used either a type of inductor or capacitor or maybe some type of radio antenna as well. I can tell you the whole park was actually his radio antenna. He had cop wire, this over here, wrapped around the <coughs> whole entire park itself. Really? This is wrapped around the whole entire park. Interesting. So he's the whole entire park is radio antenna. Just to get current in the area. To get signals from all the way from Timbuktu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Far, far away. Interesting. That's during World War II. So we're speculating he wanted to see what was happening out there in his country, in Austria, in Russia. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Now the park itself supposedly is on a ley line, a natural magnetic field. Right. But what I see is more of a spiritual aesthetic, not scientific. Yeah, well, we believe he was a Freemason. They go hand in hand. Uh, we believe he was a Freemason, and a lot of the symbology is Masonic or Egyptian in origin. Yeah. So I do myself study sacred geometry. I see a lot of it in the park. Yeah, do we mind if you film it? No. Sure. You're setting up tables outside. What's that for? Oh, because we had a hurricane. Well, supposed it. Uh, so you guys saw the star. We put everything back now. Yeah, I see, I see. Whatever the bad. So what what do you mean sacred geometry in the park? Did show us? Oh like sacred geometry there? basically people start sacred geometry believe the creator of the universe created the universe itself with sacred geometry. Right. They usually carry the symbols with me, but I don't have it. It's um the main symbol they use is called the flower of life. The yeah. flower of life itself contains all five platonic solids. So each platonic solid itself supposedly it has its own resonant frequency and creates a type of matter around it or with it or uses it. Um, so Ed itself used that type of schematic within the park, like the spiral itself, the whole park itself is in the shape of a large square spiral or square six. Yeah, Spirals yeah. are like uh, um, coils uh, induce and create more energy. Mm. Some of us, we do believe the park is on a crossroad between ley lines, natural magnetic fields, or node point. Yeah, is this so considered in, like uh, in portions of the triangle? Supposedly it should be one of the tips of the rear triangle. That would make sense then. Because they said the... This is a tip Supposedly. Yeah, yeah. So. They said the tip is around South Florida somewhere. And this will be the only point that we know that has so that had ley lines on it. I say yeah. had because the ley lines move towards the Air Force Base oddly enough. I see. I see. Is that I've been reading a lot about ley lines lately. They say moving rapid movements. Uh, I've been in the military about ten years. I know most of our bases are on ley lines as well. Yeah. Most of the bases are? Mm -hmm. Really? Not just American bases. So Chinese. Like yeah. Japanese. Just for communication purposes? That's what they tell me. For all kinds of purposes. Yeah, okay. That's what they say. It's for I'm communication sure you purposes. Have a, a yeah. Top secret security clearance, you know. Yeah. Like I found <laughs> out these um 
these stealth fighters can actually fly out ley lines and be actually literally invisible to radar, more invisible than usual. Hmm. By flying on a magnetic line. Interference. Interference. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, so uh, you said, like you mentioned the flower of life, were there any like vector equilibriums or anything like that around here? The only thing I can show you is basically the, the symbology that's the impermanence. Like, I'll show you a few of Yeah, let's do it. Hey, what it's do you propose this is? It's like a calendar of sorts that only works between 9 and 4, so it's by time and by season together. Oh. So in the summer solstice, the shadows are at its lowest point, and the winter solstice, the shadows are at its highest point, and both spring and fall are over here always. Wow. Around September 22nd, this is around December 21st. At March 22nd, so the group of twelve. December 21st is right smack in the center, huh? Yep. Um, December <laughs> 21st and December 21st. <laughs> Both centers. Yeah, yeah. But actually, the equal not total the center too. The center between this and this, and here to here. Sick. Oh, I thought this was equal notes, no? Mm -mm. That's not. This will be the, the center point. Interesting. I thought so too at first, but I've been here like four years. I didn't see go around a few times. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And so, so what is it kind of just traveling down this? It basically, it, it, um, it goes across for the time and it goes around for the year. Wow. So like uh, 10 right now, 10 standard would be like over here and this will be like 1030 over here. That's for today. But every day it gets higher and higher. Wow. That's insane. Say that again one more time. This is the time. It goes across the for day. the time and for the whole year it goes around the loop itself. I see. Every day, basically, it started over here June 21st, and June 22nd, 23rd, 24th, so basically it goes up each day. So it's a six month inter six month from top to bottom? Mm -hmm. Basically, from here to here, it's uh, between um, That's three months. summer to fall. Yeah, it breaks the seasons up. Fall to winter, winter to spring, and spring to summer. Interesting. And it only works between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. because he said these are the hours that a hard-working man should only work. That a what? This is the hours a hard-working man should only work. Nine and four? Between nine and four. Seems like a reasonable idea to me. It seems like a reasonable idea to me. Let's talk to Sal. Wait, one to three. One to three. Three. Uh, three old trees in the west. Each old has three pedestals. Three old trees in the south. Each old trees has three pedestals. We have three reading chairs. The center reading chairs three pedestals. We got the floor of the table. Actually, believe it or not, there were 12 chairs at one point in time. They've been spread out now. 12 oh. chairs, multiple three. Yeah. You got three pieces of pocket tell you time of season. This obelisk, the obelisk, and the sundial. Yeah. So you got the triple moon, another representing the three. In this bedroom, we got three child size bears. Well, it's three. The it's center, the magic number. In the center of the park, you got the grotto of the three bears. The whole entire park appears to be doing very large square six or square spiral. Looks like this one's What uh, is the deal with that obelisk, that's a different season? Basically, um, the shadow of that star will fall on the center star in the, in the Bronx Street Parish on the spring equinox. Wow. Between 8.45 and 9 a.m. So what, you guys are doing a uh, fall equinox ceremony? Yeah, too? no, well, it's not much of a ceremony, we're just doing open day. Okay, okay, so nothing like goes on here? But if you want to bring instruments, drums, uh, as they come, go for it. You guys have a drum circle here we on the fall equinox to. celebration. <laughs> That's insane, and dude. Don't put your That's insane, dude. On. Yeah, everybody come wrapped in copper <laughs> yeah, jewelry. Right 